Hello YouTube and welcome to today's episode of Careering 101. I'm Serafina and I'm here today with Carsten Janssen. He is a Danish designer. He studied at the Arts and Crafts School in Copenhagen with a focus on illustration and graphic. What was your intention about your career when you first started working? I'm not really saying that there was any intentions right from the beginning. It uh, came in that time when I went to the Arts and Crafts School and met a lot of young people which I actually could talk to. That changed my life. That was what made me interested in in art. It was what made me interested in all what has to do with creativity. Only in the moment you get together with other people, you actually get the uh, courage to do what you think you should do. Can you tell us um, what were your, how did your career evolve? What were your first steps? My first steps was that I, as all people, started drawing, and uh, then my family said that that there was nothing else uh, to do with me, so they sent me to to the art and craft school in order to hope that I would make a living from that. Uh, <clears throat> so I went to the art and craft school in Copenhagen, and in the late sixties, and um, then I went to uh, Royal Copenhagen as a designer. Uh, that was a very unhappy time because. Nothing really came out of that. After that, I started a school with uh, an art school together with two other friends of mine, where we actually educated uh, young people uh, for one or two years, uh, so that they could uh, enter into either the arts and crafts schools or into the Danish Academy of Art. After that, <coughs> uh, I actually. Uh, slowly started uh, to make some designs for a friend of one of, of my partners in, in this school. And um, that was my first contact to Bodum. And then uh, with Bodum, uh, it became a long collaboration uh, over 25 years uh, where I was active and then some years where I was uh, just in the board of, of the company. What made you decide to leave Bodum after 25 years? What made me yeah, decide that? And there was one thing which I saw it was happening in the late 90s, and that was that design became more and more commercial. Uh, it was no longer about making new innovative products for, uh, for consumers or for people. <coughs> and it was actually to a point where I saw that when you have been in a company for 25 years, it's, it's time to think about uh, what to do with yourself and uh, not being old in what became a very big success because it totally was a success. Uh, and that the young people who was working with me get a chance. <coughs> because when you have old people sitting there with a lot of experience, then the young people doesn't really get into errors and they don't learn from their errors. So I said that it was a good chance both for the companies to get rid of me and, <clears throat> and for, the, uh, for the young people to get a chance to show what they actually was worth in their talent. And they were extremely talented. And what did you do after that? Well, what did I do? I, I, I took off uh, from everything what had to do with business. I, I started painting again, but I do, did uh, know and find out that, that it was not going to be painting for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. um, the other part was that I, I went on a trip uh, to uh, Mali where I started uh, Photograph as uh, everybody do, and when I came back home, uh, I started changing these uh, pictures on the computer and, and tried to make something out of it, which was not just uh, a documentation but was an impression of, of things and uh, made a whole exhibition of that. It was uh, 
taken then by a Fondation Cartier, and now it is these uh, pictures is hanging in different meeting rooms around in the world in, in this uh, company. So you sold your pieces, but why did you then not continue with photography? I missed uh, the whole thing of working together with people. And uh, then I come up with that absolutely screwed idea, which was another impossible project because uh, the school project uh, was an impossible project, the Berlin project was an impossible project. So there was another thing which happened because I had been to China, but I was fascinated with that. And then I made a trip around to the universities in, in Beijing and Shanghai and and Canton and, and talk to young designers uh, there and and was uh, simply taken by the fact that they was much more uh, much further in in their uh, skills and ability to use computers in design and I was so surprised about that that I said I had to try that out and, and try to work with young people in China and see how they get along with it and uh, uh, that was what I, I actually wanted to do and see if I could get young people to understand uh, what a design process is. It all ended up what, what I did in these three years or four years in China was actually uh, paying back, absolutely not in money, but in, in return of human uh, relation and the young people I I still love them, so mm -hmm. they're they doing well, very well. So you've really found your place in helping young people uh, strive in, in what they're doing and supporting them to realize their ideas that they have. Yes, and I think that the most young people, they have like kind of serious uh, uh, fear for doing things wrong in their career. And I think that the most of the the projects people have in their head doesn't really become anything because there's too much fear, there's too much knowledge about what can be wrong. Mm -hmm. And I come from a time where everything was possible. And being an artist and a designer at the same time, it was not possible. And then an architect eventually and building and designing a factory in Portugal or whatever, I had no clue. So I had to, to play with that and, and try to learn. And I think that that is the most important part of the career is actually to try to understand what can I actually um, achieve by learning and not never stop learning and being extremely curious about what is going on. And that is what I like to support by young people and that is what I'm doing today. Mm -hmm. What advice would you then give now to those who are starting on their own career journey? First of all, don't give up in what you dream about. I think that you have to be very serious about what you are actually choosing and that it fits you. Because otherwise you never get a balance in your, in your uh, family uh, and work uh, uh, situation. And you have to have that, otherwise none of it becomes good. Thank you so much, Kasten, for Thank taking some time to do this interview. Okay. I really enjoyed this. I learned a lot from talking to you, and I hope you viewers also learned something from this. I'm sure you did. And I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.